Hey everyone, this is Human from Toolhouse and today I'm here to show you how you can create your first agent on Toolhouse and how easy it is to create agents. So in this example today, I'm going to show you how you can create an agent that will search the web, like search AI news and send an email to you in a like a nice table. All right, first things first, before diving into the whole tutorial, pause the video and sign up to Toolhouse. You should already see the link on the screen by about now. So that's the sign up page. Make sure you sign up and pause and continue and follow the tutorial from there. All right, now that you signed up, you need to jump over to Agent Studio. This is where all the magic happens. This is where we create agents on Toolhouse. So you can create an agent, click this button, create a new agent, and it should bring this UI for you. This is where you describe your agent and agents come to life. Before typing in our prompt, I want to take you to the MCP servers section of our app. So here you can see all of our MCP servers that we already configure and host obviously and make sure they're ready for you to use. So you can just type in the prompt and use these MCP servers in your agent. For this example, I'm going to use this send email tool, MCP servers, whatever you like to call them. I'm going to use this one. All right, you might be wondering like, how can I know about the arguments? You can just click on the MCP server and read more about it. So here are the MCP server arguments. It doesn't require me to bring any API key or configure it. It's already there. I just need to feed it its content. So when you send an email, you need a subject, a person who's receiving it and the email body or the content of the body. This is what this MCP server needs. So subject, a person who receives the email and the content of the email body. All right, I'm going to use this server and let's just head back to the agent studio. Let's close this sidebar all right this is perfect let's create the agent uh, let's create an agent that will search the news for AI search AI news search AI news and send them to my email address now I'm going to pass in the variables or arguments for the MCP server so my email address is human at toolhouse.ai set the subject to today's freaking awesome AI news uh, fill the content with the news you found format everything together in a nicely formatted table to send to my email address so i'm using a natural language like a very simple prompt nothing too specific and as soon as i hit enter which i did right now the agent will come to life so toolhouse to will take care of the business if i hover to the code tab here i can see the yaml file being generated by toolhouse so you get a agent file or agent yaml file that has system prompt uh, it has id titles you know everything you need for a yaml file and you get the preview part the preview part is where you take a step back and you work with your agent and if the agent works as you like you can go ahead and publish the agent i'm not going to publish it right now i'm going to demonstrate the testing part so i'm going to say, say please send the uh, today's AI news to my email address. I'm going to test the agent. All right. Perfect. As soon as I hit that query prompt, the MCP server called the get current news MCP server. Okay, so it's searched up for the news, then it's used the MCP server for sending the email. Great use the MCP server sent email and 
it's replied today's top ai news has been sent to your email address human at tulas at ai in a clean easy to read all right let's go to my email perfect just send about now with the subject today's freaking awesome ai news and everything is in a nicely table so i want you to just pause for a moment and just breathe that we just prompt an agent on toolhouse less than 20 seconds or 30 seconds now we called a bunch of mcp servers gathered the news and we have everything in a nice table so if i click on the links of the news obviously we're going to see everything you get the sources i didn't even specify this it's just how great it is biztalk sun reuters we got everything the summary and the title of the news and already sent to my email. I didn't configure anything. I didn't write any code and it worked as I expect, ex expected. So, all right, it worked. Now time to publish. So I can click publish and I can just grab this link to pass it along to my friends, colleagues, you know, customers. So they can use this as the chat bot interface to interact with my agent. Or I can just go ahead and create a UI for it. So I can just copy this and go to Lovable. And I will have a Lovable built website that works with this Toolhouse agent. And you can either get an API call. So you can just deploy it into your production with a curl command. This agent will just reply everything. One other cool functionality we have is the scheduling part. So you can just schedule this agent to run every 10 minutes every Monday at 2 a.m. You know, you can just put it on interval without you even touching this agent. You get the news on an interval. That's freaking amazing, if you ask me. All right, one last thing. You can just go to the agent runs. Say you didn't like the agent. You didn't like how it responded and you want to debug, you know, you want some sort of information on that agent, the observability part, right? So you can go to the agent runs and you can see the AI news emailer, which was my email, which was my agent. And you can see everything in the history of the conversations. So I prompted to please send the today's AI news to my email address. It fetched, it used the get current news to fetch some news. It used this query, the starting and the start date of the news. So it figured out time and, you know, it gathered the news called the MCP server, formatted everything in a, you know, using a nice HTML and CSS, formatted everything in a table. So you can just trace back everything that went wrong in your agent and make that better and make it actually like your perfect ideal use case. So this was a quick tutorial to show you everything that can be done super fast on Toolhouse. But in the next videos, I'm going to show you how you can take the agent file, the YAML file in the CLI and how you can connect external MCP servers to your agents. So there are chances that some MCP servers are not hosted with us and you can just simply grab some any remote server MCP server and just connect it to your agent. Then you're happy with it. All right. So if you have any questions, make sure to join our Discord server. I'm going to make sure a link appears on the screen. So join our Discord server to get in touch with me or our team. And if you like to take things a bit further and you want to use the Toolhouse on a paid plan, Toolhouse is free, but if you want to go and explore the paid plans, make sure you use code HUMAN in the checkout that will give you 50% off. So yeah, I'm going to make sure that code coupon human appears on the screen as well if you want to be our paid plan user and i see you on the next videos i hope you enjoyed this one bye bye